Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Vanessa and this is Nessa CX Beauty. Today we are going to review the Shane Dawson times Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. And I cannot believe that this palette has definitely come to life. This retails for $52 and features 18 beautiful shades. And I'm about to swatch them all out for y'all, create a little look, and then tell y'all how I feel about the palette. But before we do that, I'm just going to do my comment shout out of the day. And that's where I shout out people who comment on my videos first. So my last video, which was on the mini controversy palette, Crystal Ryan and Maria Jose were the first two people to comment on my video. So thank y'all for having your notifications on. And if you want to be next video's comment shout out of the day, just consider subscribing and turning on that bell and being one of the first people to comment on my videos. And I did mention in my other video that I will be having a mini controversy giveaway at 3K along with other things. So I'm super excited for that whenever I do reach that goal. But without further ado, let's get right into the palette. Okay, so we're going to start off with spiraling. Just a theory. Diet Root Beer, which is also in the mini controversy palette. Tanacon. My Pills. And Ranch. That is the whole first row. Next up is Flaming Hot. Cheese Dust, Trisha, I'm excited, wow that's chunky, <laughs> Food Vibes, Pigment, and Conspiracy, and that is the whole second row. Okay, and the last one, my rides here. Illuminati Sleep Paralysis Not a Fact Diet Cola And last but not least, What's the Tea? This is the whole last row Definitely some beautiful shimmers up in here. Now we're going to go on to the look. And I do know that this palette does deserve a three looks one palette. So I might consider actually doing that because the whole second and third row are a vibe. <laughs> but on to the look. Okay, so I already got P. Louise Eye Base all over my eye. And the first shade I'm going to go into is Cheese Dust with my Morphe M506. And I'm gonna put that all over my crease. It definitely looks like cheese dust. <laughs> We're gonna do a nice semicircle. Next up, we're gonna go into Food Vibes with my Morphe M507. <sighs> And we're just going to blend that out. This shade does have a lot of kickback. <sighs> okay, then after we have food vibes all over, I'm just going to go back into cheese dust because we lost some of it while blending out food vibes. Next up, we're going to go into Not A Fact with my E36 by Morphe. And I'm going to put that on my outer and inner corner. This burgundy shade is life. Literally life. 
And then following, I'm just going to go back into cheese dust and blend those two shades in with one another. Following that, I'm going to do a spotlight cut crease with my P. Louise Eye Base and my Olimar Cosmetics Packing Brush. Y'all know the vibes. Following that, I want to go into Diet Cola with my M421 brush, and I'm just going to pack that on the spotlight that we just created. Explain to me this conspiracy against me. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Until we have lost my powers. Who remembers that song? Okay, then after we have that on our lid. I'm going to go back in with Not A Fact and blend that into the silver so it's not so stark. And that is what we have thus far. I'm going to go put on some liner, finish my face, and we'll come back for the lower lash line. Okay, so we're back for the lower lash line. And y'all, I think I'm obsessing over this yellow halo. So for my lower lash line, I went in with this brush right here. It's curved and flat, so I went into cheese dust, outlined the entire lash as close as I could to my actual lashes, just because I want to, you know, accentuate the yellow. And then, with my Morphe M507, I went back into Food Vibes, which is pretty much the star of the show today. And I literally just buffed it out into the bottom and dragged it low so you could see it after I put on my mascara. And it's that simple. After I put on the mascara, you will still be able to see the yellow on the bottom. And y'all, this is the final look using the Conspiracy palette and I'm so happy with my purchase. Honestly, the bottom two rows are definitely my vibe. This one is more for like the neutral lover, more wearable lover, but all of these pops of color and the shimmers in this palette are definitely definitely beautiful and i would say that the shimmers in this palette are better than the shimmers in the mini controversy don't know what the difference is in formulation but i did also want to show y'all how the controversy the how the conspiracy looks next to the blood sugar Ooh. because they wanted to like base it around this Oh, palette and there's a lot of pops of color and browns in both palettes and I feel like they complement each other very well this is like the younger more hip more pops of color little sister big sister whatever the hell to blood sugar even though this one is a fan favorite I feel like this one is pretty much equally or more iconic than the blood sugar I had don't know but we will see how this goes down. I can't wait to hear what Jeffree Star says about his launch. This is definitely, definitely going to be on my vanity. It is beautiful. It is pigmented. I love the look that I created with it. I can't say enough good things. The only thing is that I don't like that it has so many browns, but I can get over that. Shane, Jeffree, y'all did that. So thank you and let me know what y'all think. Did you guys get it? Is the site still down? Let me know. <laughs> but that's all I have for y'all today. Have a great day or night wherever y'all are in the world. I hope to see you soon.